let's do a one of my last painting videos which for today hope you guys enjoy it here we go and we're gonna paint some uh, Then we're gonna do some water lilies. Yeah, let's paint some water lilies. Let's just do it and see where where this goes. I hope everybody's doing great. Um, it's been an interesting week. been a very interesting week I had a I had to get rid of some people from my Facebook page <laughs> I have to I had to do what uh what people do today when when uh, someone's out of line it's like I'm gonna unfriend you Blair. so it's been it's been interesting I had a I had an artist who, well, one of those artists is kind of shadowed my, not my style, but my, my, my business model. Uh, I try to shadow my business model. He's one of those people that, that just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Um, not because they were shadowing my business model, I don't, I don't care about that, but just kind of go around the bushes instead of being straight with me you know straight shooter anyways that wasn't the reason why the reason why is because I posted something on my personal page that I guess offended him and and he tried to tell me that he was offended by it by asking me just being a racist you know just being a racist asshole Basically asking me if I was, if I wasn't born here, why do I care? I have no say. I have no say. No, no say in the matter of politics. If I wasn't born here, if I wasn't really from here, I should just be grateful and shut up. That kind of deal. And I, I won't. I won't say his name because, first of all, I, I'm not like that. Second, I don't. I, I have a way bigger audience. Well, he does, so I, I don't want to give him credit. <laughs> I don't want to give him credit for that. Um, but yeah, one of those things, you know, that just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. If anything, if anything rubs me the wrong way, is racism. I get people asking me if, if I kind of try to uh, um, devalue my being in the United States, really rubs me the wrong way. But anyway, that's what's happened. And then, and then the idiot goes to tell me that polit the artists have no room in politics, which clearly, you know, has no understanding of art history. Man, I got, I got pissy. Let's do some, uh, let's do some water at least. Let's just do water at least today. <laughs> I 
feel like it, I can never go wrong with water loops. There's just this thing that... They sort of have this perfection to them. Thanks to Monsieur Monet, probably. Hi, Tonya. Uh, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's always super weird when, when, when that happens. It, it, it doesn't happen often, but, but it does happen. It does, it does happen uh, every now and then to me. Where, and, and, it's, and it's by other artists, which is really weird. This, what was this guy's, you know, idea about going and lurking in my personal page? Because I, I got a professional page, and then I got a personal page where my friends and family see, right? I mean, if I don't like the, what, what a friend is posting, um, yeah, I respect them enough to, like, you know, it's his opinion, it's his ideals, whatever, you know. It's not like they're posting something like, yeah, let's, uh, I don't know, let's, let's go kill all Mexicans, right? No, it's not like they're writing something like that. <laughs> they're writing their own, their own, uh, their own ideals, right? Their own ideals, fine. A political perspective, that's fine. I respect them enough to, to live it alone and walk away. It's their page. They can write whatever they want on their page. It's for their friends and family. You know, I, they, they were nice enough to let me in their circle. I should respect, you know, because clearly if, if, they, if they think different than me, it's, it's, uh, it's normal, right? People, not everybody's going to think the same way. How's it going, Van? But not this asshole. I got this asshole going to my page and, and basically uh, policing me, right? Asking me to be quiet, basically because I wasn't even from. I'm not. I was. I wasn't even born here. I was like. He was trying to demean me. Yeah, he was trying to demean me. He was. He was just being a racist asshole. He was trying to demean me. And. It's sad, you know, because when I became a citizen, I had to let go of my Mexican citizenship and and you pledge and pledge allegiance to the United States of America for any random asshole to come and tell me that I have no no say in the matter when I pledge allegiance to this country. And so, you know, it's it definitely hurt my ego. But more, more than more, I think more than that. Aside from that, I guess, is uh, the fact that uh, so many people walk around doing that kind of stuff. You know, they have no idea what goes up with me. We were good enough to use for information. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What my wife is saying. He pissed us both off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was good enough for, for him to 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 be uh, lurking and finding information about what platforms to sell artwork and and you know that kind of stuff. You know, I, and I don't mind, right? Because that's what I do. I help artists. But this was one of those assholes that if I move left, he moved left right next to me, and then uh, and then acted like 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 he figured out all on his own. You know, and he's just rubbing me the wrong way. He started rubbing me the wrong way, and I didn't tell him anything because, you know, when, when you're sharing information for other artists, you do it in the spirit of abundance. You you are helping, not thinking, oh my God, they're taking. Nobody's taking from you. When you're sharing, you're sharing. Nobody's taking from you. But what I got upset is that I was good enough for that. But the moment that we have to. Um, we have differences, political differences. Um, all of a sudden, I'm not even supposed to be here, right? 
And if I'm here, why don't I keep my mouth shut? Because I should be grateful because it's worse. I'm, and I've been, I've been reading this lately. Oh, it's worse than other countries. Basically saying it's worse than my country, right? And my country of origin. And so why am I bitching if it's worse than my country? And just demeaning, you know, just demeaning. You know, it's like, it's like telling someone, I feel like when they do that, it's like telling someone, well, well, why are you crying? It was worse when you, uh, I don't know, when you were in your dad's testicles. <laughs> you probably had it worse then. <laughs> I don't know, like, like, come on. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of hate going on. There sure is. Couple of these water lilies come out. Awesome. -o. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, well, I, you know, if you don't experience it, you can't, you can't really say, right? You, you'll be like, well, there's, it's not true, Jose, but I, I'm just going to tell you from my end, ever since I, I can remember, I've experienced forms of racism, different forms, and I cannot imagine I cannot begin to... This is me being Mexican, uh, fair-skinned Mexican. This is, this is me. I cannot begin to imagine what it is like to be black in the United States. I cannot even begin to imagine. Because I, I know there's a lot of people out there that deny that there's racism in this country and whatnot. Oh, there's, a, there's a fuckload of racism. I can remember since I was in school. The whole go back to your country. Uh, you know, if you don't speak English, get the fuck out of here, type of stuff. I, I, I remember all of that. I, and so when I hear people that they say, no, there's, it, it's not really that much racism. It's the media or this or that. I, I, I don't think that they're wrong necessarily. I just think that they don't experience it. So, so they're speaking from their experience. Yeah. Well, right, and dismissing it because you know, it's like me saying, "What misogyny? What are you talking about misogyny?" Me being a a, a, a man, right? I'm like, what are you what are you talking about? Telling a lady, what are you talking about misogyny? I don't understand this misogyny you're talking about. Well, no, because I don't experience it, right? Like, I I I can't speak for it because I don't experience it. But it doesn't mean I have to dismiss it. Yeah, it's just really sad. All that stuff.
Are there protests where you are? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think they're all over the place. I think they're all over the country. Yeah, it, I, you know, it, it, it kind of just made me sad at the end of it because I wasn't, I wasn't really mad. It was more like I felt a little betrayed because I was good enough to give him information about. I, I mean, it's not like I was giving information directly to him. He, he was just shadowing me, right? Just, just like many artists shadow me, they go see what I'm doing and whatnot, and they start shadowing what I'm doing. And I felt like I felt a little betrayed. I was like, oh, so I'm good enough for that. But when pushing comes to shoving, I'm not even supposed to be in this country, right? I think, and I think you and I, like, because you and I have talked about this a lot, about how, you know, I was born here, and I was born here, and there are still people that will say, or ask, are you an anchor baby? Right. And I think really what you feel is like the betrayal of being told that you're still not enough. Right. Like, I wish people would... And then people say, well, you're supposed to be apolitical. You're supposed to not have... You're not supposed to, you know, like, hey, you're not supposed to have a political idea or an opinion because you're not from here. But, like, your very existence is debated... Well, yeah. And you're very like your like the your very dignity is debated. I, I, Uncle Sam takes my taxes. I think he he's okay with. So it. I just found it really interesting <laughs> that this person was like, "Don't talk about politics," but yet he had a clear political anti-immigrant ideology yeah. that he was dumping on you. Right. Which is political. So it's like a hypocrisy in itself. For sure. So, whatever. Dust to haters. Dust to haters. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. Yeah, it's 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 been it's been it's been rough. It's been a little 
it's been a little uh, emotionally rough, I think. And and seeing seeing all the seeing all the all the posts. I mean, I, I'm I'm a person that stays away from that all the time. But this time, I I I, I just couldn't stay away from it. It's it's. It's too, it's too big. It's too, you know. It's, it's, it's in your face. I'm usually the type of person that doesn't watch news and that kind of stuff. But uh, watching all of the uh, underlying racism, you know, a lot of it is a bird, but a lot of it is, is, is kind of like it looks, it lurks in the water, in the dark areas of the water. Watching all of that. On LinkedIn, on 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 uh, Twitter, I mean, you know, God forbid, I haven't even been on YouTube for like five days. On Facebook, all of that, and and just watching the the lack of humanity and empathy for for our African American brothers and sisters, for for siblings. Our siblings, it's not just brothers and sisters. It's, 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 it's our siblings, and watching the, the lack of empathy, the lack of humanity. If if they're hurting, and and for us to to judge at that moment when a sibling is hurting, I I, I think it's not even it's not even fucking human to do that. You know, watching. An entire group of people being hurt is not it's not a, a, a scene to judge. It's to listen and, 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 and to see what what man to question man as Americans, you know, what we need to change something. What do we do, what do we need to do so our so our so our siblings are not hurting? What do we need to do? What do we need to change? This is not new. This is old. This is very old. And and seeing the lack of humanity, like my wife said, from people just making fun of it or or or, or looking at and focusing at the at the looting oh my god the looting oh my god the looting focusing on that and yes there is that yes but that is that is not that is not the challenge that's not the real challenge we're facing the the, the real challenge is the systemic racism that has been happening for hundreds hundreds of years that's the real challenge. And it's just, to me, it's really sad to see it. As an artist, I don't even think it's it's, it's really is all that human. Um, I think Confucius said, you're, "You're not even human. You're not even a full human if you don't have empathy. If you lack empathy." I remember reading that. Huh? Confucius understood that he was an awakened being. Confucius said, "You're not even." You're not even a full human," he said. "If, if you if you lack empathy, and it's hard. I know it's hard to have empathy when all we do is is, is judge the situation rather than listen to it." And look at it. 
which is the it's ultimately is the is the principle of painting also is the, is the shit I, I try to tell artists all the time about painting is to, don't judge what you're painting look at it just look at it listen look at it look at it and move your brush don't. it's the same thing it's just a little micro little micro aspect of life making a little picture it's not serious it's not big right it's not you can't compare it to um, something like human rights or social justice it's just a little painting but ultimately it hides the same secret just look at it listen to it It's hard not to judge. I know. It's very difficult. We're conditioned to judge. in our very nature it's ingrained in our minds it's been there since it's ancestral history in our minds to judge things situations people but we're we're paying a very a very expensive price Acknowledging is one thing, you know, it's like when people say I don't I don't see like they go into stuff like that Like I don't see color or that kind of stuff it, 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 it That's not it either. It's not it. It's, it's acknowledging. Okay. I, I acknowledge that, that You know we, we, we might have Different upbringing different I don't know, different gender, different creed, different skin color. Acknowledging, I acknowledge that. But remove ourselves from the judgment of it.
you know, and and and, and friends of mine or people have told me not not really close friends, but like people that know me have told me, hey, stay away from from the whole political thing and whatnot. But you know, to 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 express political opinions and whatnot, that kind of stuff on a daily. I'm, I'm not a fan of that. One, it's, it's not my jam. I'm not. I'm not a fan of that. But, but seeing the the overwhelming amount of of pain that is being caused in our African American siblings. It's just like, dude, you can't stay quiet. You, you, you can't stay quiet if, if, if you see the... It's a moral issue, exactly. It, 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 it's, it's fucking painful to see. You can't be quiet when something is that painful. I, I refuse to be quiet. People told me, hey, you should be quiet. You're an artist, you know, your you're, you're followers. Um... You know, you got some some independent in there. You got some Republican. You got some some Democrats. You know, you should be quiet. You shouldn't get into it or whatnot. It's gonna hurt your business and whatnot. And honestly, I thought to myself, "Fuck that! If I don't if I don't say something, who am I?" This is a more. This is not a, a thing about what party you are. This is a moral. It has become a moral issue. I want to be able to be an, uh, uh, an old fart one day and, and, and to be able to look at my grandchildren straight in the eyes and tell them when they ask me, hey, Grandpa, what, what did you do during the riots and the protests and the injustice that was happening to, 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 to the African-American community? What did you do? What did you say? No, nothing. I... I Stay quiet because I didn't want to hurt people's feelings. Fuck that. It's a moral issue. I'm not going to be quiet. I want to I want to be able to look at him straight in the face, straight in the eyes and say, uh, uh, you know what? I, I said something. I said something. There's a lot of, a lot of, like I said, a lot of underlying racism, you know, Little little digs that I see, little stuff that just kind of lurks in the water. Dressed up as not paying attention to the full to the full thing, which is the pain. The full thing is the pain. It's the root of it. Oh no, people people are looting. People are looting, and people go into that, and they they focus into that, and it's like. That's a symptom. That's a symptom of pain. What's really happening? What's really going on? What's going on underneath? And not in a some bullshit conspiracy theory. Because I, I, I get people tell me all these bullshit conspiracy theories. No, it, it, it ain't no time for games. Ain't no time for jokes about conspiracy theories. But the government wants to divide the people now. The, 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 the government, that, that's not it. The African American community have been treated horribly for, for hundreds of years. And people are tired of it. And if we can't see that, that people are tired of it, who are we? I know it's not my jam. I know people people are here to see me paint and hear me talk about painting or whatnot. 
I know it's not my jam. I, I, I know there's probably people thinking it's not even my place. But... It's all our jam. I, I, yeah, <laughs> my wife is screaming in the background. But I think it's, it's everyone's place to speak out and say something. You know, and to go beyond the obvious, you know, like, like when people say, well, you know, there's good cops, there's bad, there's bad cops. Don't, don't, don't hang in the obvious. Of course, everybody knows that. That's the obvious. It's, it goes beyond that. It goes beyond the obvious. I, I feel like many times the, the obvious is a scapegoat. Of course there's good cops, bad cops. Of course there's... There's uh, people that are causing mayhem. Of course, there's people rioting, and yes, of course. But that's the obvious. That's you. You don't, you don't need a. Uh, you, it's not. It's not wisdom. You know. It's not. That's the obvious. It's not rocket science to figure that one out. People say all lives matter. Yes, of course, it's the obvious. Of course, that's obvious. Who's gonna who's gonna say that that's not true? That that's not of course. But it's it's beyond that. It goes, be, it goes deeper than that. The root is deeper than that. I personally think as, as, as human beings we have a moral responsibility. As Americans we have a moral responsibility to speak out and say something. That's a good painting, huh? Yeah. It's only when I don't, I, I let myself loose that I start actually painting. The, 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 first, the first 30 minutes of this painting, I was like, because I'm, I'm trying to be careful, you know? I'm trying to be careful how I paint it because I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the, 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 the proportion or whatnot, all those things, right? I read something really, really insightful. Um, I read something really insightful that I, I thought it was very deep uh, somewhere online. Uh, someone said, uh, telling, saying that 
that you know tell, telling African American people to to follow the law so that that won't happen or to follow the rules or to or to don't resist arrest or whatnot uh, so that so that they don't get shot so that so that those things don't happen is the same as telling a woman she should have dressed right if she didn't want to get raped and, and it's it's the same as saying something like that and when I read that it just man it hit it, it hit so hard because we're not kind we, we aren't fucking kind with each other no, yeah. Like a lot of yeah victim blaming we're not kind we're like oh oh look how they're look how they're behaving look how they're writing but I mean like I mean don't, those don't. are like actually like academic theories around model minority uh, model minority uh, yeah, beha- how behaving right over time how the government and culture and Yeah. And the whole idea that you have to behave right, or 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 when I hear people saying uh, things like like be a law-abiding citizen, uh, the law is not always on your side. History has proven that. It's 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 another way to comply comply. You know. What about what about gay marriage? The law wasn't always. What, what about slavery? The, the law said that. It was okay for, your, for for people to have masters and, and, and be owned. The law is not always correct. Um, we'll be back on that. This whole idea of the, the, the law abiding citizen so that nothing happens to you is, is, is faulty. Man, this, is, this painting is looking awesome as I'm ranting away here. Okay, baby. I'm thirsty. Let me get some water. I love you. I don't know. This whole idea of behave or else. I hear that uh, 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 amongst you know, certain groups or, or people when they talk about Second Amendment rights and whatnot, they keep they keep saying things like law abiding citizen. You know, if you're a law abiding citizen personally I think that if if you're if you, <laughs> you human beings cannot be law abiding citizens completely because there's always the government is always there's always something that just doesn't sit right. Slavery, immigrant rights, LGBTQ rights, you know, tr- trans rights. It doesn't sit right. It doesn't sit right. And many other things. Things as uh, 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 the women's suffrage movement. W- women, women still today in this country, still today. In many parts of this country, still cannot own their body. You have some old fart owning your body. You still can't own your body. Someone, someone tells you what you can and can't do with your body. As a woman. I mean, I'm always talking about philosophy and shit. Might as well talk about something that's really happening. You know, and like I said, I keep hearing these words like, oh, you know, if you are if you really were a law-abiding citizen, it, 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 it sucks to be a law-abiding citizen when... when when you're a minority or you have or you have some shit happening when things aren't aren't going your way 
It sucks to be a law-abiding citizen if you can't marry the person you love that happens to be the same sex as you. It sucks to be a law-abiding citizen if you're a woman and, and, and you don't have the right to choose what to do with your body for whatever reason, only you, only you know. And, and, and it should only be your choice. You as a person, as, as, a, as a human being who owns their body. I remember, I used, to, I used to love reading about history and, and war history and that type of stuff. It's kind of like my, it's my cup of tea here, right? Uh, civil wars and that kind, of, that kind of deal. I remember reading this quote by one of the uh, Mexican generals in, in the, the War of 1910 in Mexico, in the, in the Civil War in Mexico. It wasn't a civil war, it was a revolution. But, but I guess it was a civil war. Um, one of the generals on the, the side that was fighting with, with uh, Pancho Villa had said that uh, something along the lines that patriots never, never look like the law-abiding type, the true patriots. It's always something because they're, because they're because they're fighting something, right? That doesn't sit right. It's it's not that they're fighting. It's not that they're fighting the government because all oh, the, the, the 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 tyranny, the, the tyranny of the government, tyrannical government. It's not that they're fighting. They're they're they're, they're fighting certain laws that just don't sit right with being a human being. Certain things like, uh, I don't know, if you were a Zapatista back in those days, you were fighting for a piece of land so that, because, because you couldn't own land, right? Things that, that, that didn't give you a means to take care of yourself as a human being. Just like, just like women, the suffrage movement and women, women fighting for the right to vote. Look, look, look at the shit we fought for in the past. Look at the shit we fought for. And that people questioned and that, and that people got upset and said, why, why are you asking for that? What, what else do you want? The right to vote. Something things that, that we look back and we're like, why, why did you have to fight for that? It, it, it should have been granted to you as a as a citizen. It, it should have been given to you. Why, why do you have to fight for that? Look at the shit we fought for. Look at Harvey Milk. Look at Dr. King. Look, look at Cesar Chavez. The shit we fought for as human beings. The rights we fought for.
I think there's something fundamentally wrong with us if we can't see that. All right, there, there they are. Okay, my friends. There's that painting. Hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and talk to you soon.